everyone and welcome back to the channel for another exciting trip. On this trip we head to southern Utah to check out some areas that we've been to before but we wanted to go and uh, search around a little bit more. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the trip. First night of the trip, we camped west of St. George. We found this cool little mountainous area with a nice cliff face with a nice little camping spot right up next to it. It was pretty awesome and it was a pretty enjoyable night. All right, let's go. Once we get up and going for the day, we head into St. George to meet up with my dad and to venture on over to Tokerville Falls and explore around. Tokerville Falls is a spectacular spot that's east of St. George. If you've never been here, I highly recommend it. The road isn't too bad. I mean, if you just have a general 4 x 4 you should be able to get up the road just fine. There's a lot of roundabouts to get over harder obstacles. But if you have an adventurous side, there's several obstacles along the way that you can try to conquer. Nice cruise in the deep. Along the way there are several different turnoffs with so many spectacular views of the valley and the river around here. So most definitely take the time to stop off and check them out. Now this is what we came for, Tokerville Falls. These falls are quite spectacular and during different times of the year there'll be different volumes of water up and down and the busyness is always different too. Uh, this time of year is quite busy so it's during the summertime as you could expect. We didn't stay at the falls too long because it started raining, so we just looked around for a little bit and headed on down the trail. Huh? Now the trail we're about to go on isn't the normal route. If you want to actually test out your vehicle and go back and forth over the river, it's a really fun trail to do. But I wouldn't recommend this trail if you don't have that great of a 4x4 or too much experience with off-roading. But other than that, it's uh, quite entertaining and a really fun trail.
Just a side note, if you decide to do this trail, these water levels in this river can vary throughout the year, so there could be some times it could be really shallow and there's some kind of be really deep. Just keep aware of that if you're gonna do this trail. The last part of the trail before you go up back up on the normal road that heads out is a lot of fun. It's a really steep grade with a lot of loose rocks and there's a little couple little stair steps along the way. So with it raining out, it makes it a little bit more interesting. I got my truck stuck in this one. Uh, I decided to take an alternate route that looked like a lot of fun through this little wash and uh, it about turned out bad. I about got stuck in there pretty good, but luckily I ended up getting out of there. Yeah, well, we'll have to drive. Do that. I have no yeah, idea. The only thing that you hit was the, the boulder. I thought it was stuck. Dude, I thought you were too. Are you, you high centered it. Have to drag. <laughs> huh? Oh, yeah. Lockers on? Yeah. yeah. You're like on the four link tab. minute fam i hope you guys enjoy this one as much as we did keep a lookout in the future for upcoming videos and some more trips i'm going to be doing i appreciate you guys all watching subscribing liking and if you have any questions or any concerns or anything like that just comment down in the comment section and i'll get back with you guys i appreciate it you guys uh have a good day